Welcome back to Subnautica, and it's time to extend our base. So from our main room, or first room there, I've extended another basic compartment across. That has, of course, de um, basically reduced the structural integrity of the base, so we're going to have to go a little bit further before we do this. And we're going to get the moon pool deployed. Now, the moon pool we got from blueprints, if you remember, in the last episode, just below the aurora, sort of in that, for that mushroom foresty kind of area. And we're going to build it here. Needs lubricant and lead and some titanium ingots. You'll see the total is now 3.8, so we're getting pretty low. So we're going to need more uh, foundations, which can need more lead. But we've got a moon pool, and the moon pool is pretty useful. If we, excuse me, just pop up in here. Um, well, there are a couple of ladders. So we don't need a hatch anymore to get into outside our base. But we do have this ring in the center. This serves as sort of a, an attachment point for our Seamoth and indeed for the prawn suit when we get it. So this should be quite useful. Um, let me just pop through here. And you'll see I've also put in some of these um, lantern fruit into our grow beds. And they can just be eaten. And that gets us pretty much free food. They, they do actually regenerate pretty quickly. Uh, if I take a couple of marble melons here slash another one and then just put those back yeah take two take another one put slash it and then put them back that should really keep us up to date with food so um yeah we've got everything we need to and um, we've got some nice posters from our excursion um we also have this poster oh oh and that now i want a pet Okay, <laughs> we're going to have to get a pet at some point. Uh, so yeah, out here, we can get through this hatch. And we can pop into the sea moth. And now, uh, we're down to 8 power. I'm just wondering if this will recharge by default. If we get underneath here, anywhere nearby, and we're going to get pulled up. Yep, we can get out. And will you recharge our sea moth, I wonder? Yep, it's charging. 9%. 10%, that's going to take a little bit of time. So if we just pop down into the water, I think I'm going to put some more solar panels, uh, ideally on this roof. Um, I guess we could put another compartment up here, but I don't think it's useful. Instead, let's put a solar panel in, just to give it a bit of a hand. Oh, what am I short on? Uh, titanium. Oh, of course, I use the titanium to make that little corridor thing. So let's just pop around. We've got plenty spare. Uh, the rest of our grow beds are really doing quite well. These, however, haven't... Uh, produce any seed clusters and it's fine because I need these anyway but uh, I prefer to have the seed clusters maybe it takes a long time to grow if you know any different let me know um, one two and let's just take a few more pieces why not all right and now can we place a solar panel yeah we can all right does it actually orient to face the sun though see so, the sun's over there and that's facing the entirely opposite direction, but it's still generating power. So, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's just not accurate. After playing Station Ears, well, you know, you kind of hope these things will be accurate, but maybe not. In fact, that doesn't even look like it could rotate. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, we've got one solar panel. Do we have enough for another? I each need some quartz. We can get some more quartz. Um, just from... Uh, these caves, hopefully. Some little caves nearby. Do you have any quartz in you? We've got one. Will you have any more? Hmm. Never any quartz when I need it. No. wonder if I've got any inside the base. Let's have a quick check. Yeah, we've got some more. Okay. It's just enough to put another panel down. I've got a dedicated locker now for salt. Just because it's useful for water. This one's just miscellaneous. Another miscellaneous titanium. Food, or more importantly, water really in here. And just these nutrient blocks. We've got full charger now. Full of, um, obviously, batteries. And let's see how fast this is charging. Um... 46%. That's not actually too shabby. I um, wonder if the number of solar panels actually helps that. Let's give this a go and see if that does. Um, let's put you there. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. This is looking pretty good. So we've got the moon pool going. I guess the rest of this episode we're going to do some exploration. There's a few more places we can go. There's a second island over, over that way somewhere. Um, we've explored the Aurora, but there's a number of different other biomes we've not been to. So let's go and have a quick tour, I think. Go and have a look around. So I'm near the Aurora. Let's cut our way into this wreck, I think, that we couldn't cut through before. Oh, it's a repair. Oh, okay. Well, we'll repair this door we couldn't repair before. <laughs> let's see if we can get in this way. Cool. Okay, so we have anything to scan in here? Uh, beacon fragment. I'll definitely take that. Beacons will be useful. So just to mark out biomes, really. Do we have anything else in here? Maybe that I haven't scanned? Uh, no, it just looks like a beacon. I think we've got everything else that <clears throat> this wreck can give us. Is there anything outside? Well, we can go and check in, the, in this sea moth, can't we? So if we just pop down. Do we have anything else in any of these boxes? The propulsion cannon, unfortunately, is far, far too common in these boxes. I think I've already been here and looted those. Although that looks like something I can scan. Unless I already have it. Oh, that's an office chair. Hmm. I think we already have the office chair. Or not. Okay. I would say cool, but my collection of furniture is becoming entirely too large. Or at least furniture blueprints. Anything else? Nope. You're all closed boxes. Nothing I can do with you. Uh, I did have a look around the Aurora a little bit more underneath. Um, bits and pieces. Usually they're little chests, but they're nothing uh, amazing. What I did find, just in uh, one of the wrecks, uh, found a toy car, a non-functional microscope. Uh, I found some rubies in the depths. Not sure what they're, made, they're used to make yet. A cylindrical sample flask. Yeah, they put basically the poor guy down there. He was pushing buttons and trying to get stuff to make him survive, and it was just producing all kinds of random stuff instead, which I guess is kind of uh, kind of funny, but uh, not for him. So, so uh, I think, do we have that? So looks like a vending machine. I think we already have that. Sea Glide Fragment, we don't already have you. Um, let's just see if we get some local light on the subject. Is there anything else at this wreck? No, it doesn't look like it. I think we've got everything here as well. Is there anything inside there? No. All right, some more exploration. Let's go and head. Uh, well, I'm going to get head home to the uh, to the base near the escape pod, and then I think I'm going to go to the other island. I'm going to see if there's anything on that other island. Hope you'll join me in a second. Now, do you see what I mean about infinite food? <laughs> I came out, I came back, and we've got lots and lots and lots of food. Very good. Very good. So before heading to the mountain, I thought we'd head, or the island, I thought we'd head down. And we're behind the Aurora and just about 300 meters from um, the escape pod. And you get, go down through a cave system and you get to this, the jelly shroom biome with these jelly shrooms. Uh, there is a bit of a few predators around here and lots of things to scan for, including this old base. So one of the things to, to look for in here is, of course, more things to scan. And it's a little bit dangerous, though, to get in. Um, is, it, is it that? Something poisoned me last time I came in here. No. Is it just the environment? Oh, it's fine. Hmm. Not sure what poisoned me. Uh, the only downside is that I don't really have much in the way of air down here. Uh, the main problem with that is that just we're so deep that... My air supply goes from 135 very, very quickly down. So when you actually are looking for this particular place, just make sure you've got enough stuff with you to survive. Um, mostly just blueprints. So let's go and have another look. <clears throat> See if I can make a quick excursion. And scan in here. Uh, it's a stinger, so that's what poisoned me. I think I just got too close to it. We grab the water filtration system. That will be very useful. Stop me needing to get salt and bleach, ideally. Okay, so we've got that. We didn't need anything. Um, yeah, we didn't need anything more advanced. Not, no, not, not more than one fragment. We just needed one fragment. And water filtration will be very, very good. Let me just get out of here again. 
and uh, go and refill my air and then maybe have a look in through the other side of the base is there anywhere that we actually want to get into probably into this end unit however uh, is there anything in there looks like there could be stuff in there to scan uh, there is a hatch on that end but we can't get in through that hatch it's sort of old and no longer working so we need to be as quick as possible and then up here what have we got uh, I've got a PDA in there and that's about it so yeah I guess we should be rather quick while exploring and I'm not sure if that's predatory for us but I don't want to get too close to it uh, let's just kind of get down here a little bit <laughs> and see if we can make it out let's go and have a look Try not to hit any of the stingers. And that might be harder than it appears in various places. Uh, I just want to get through to this room. Is there anything to scan in here? The bed? No, we've already got that. Um, anything on this side? That looks like a data box. What have you got? Ultra high capacity tank. Definitely want that. Down to 81. So we've got to go back. Can we go upstairs? Uh, yeah, we can go upstairs. Oh, let's actually not go upstairs on this trip. <laughs> let's go back and uh, refill our oxygen. So I'm just going to go and pick up that uh, PDA. Oh, I got stung. Oh. Thankfully, I brought a first aid kit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go and get that uh, remaining PDA and then we'll head back to the base because uh, some of that stuff, I want to see if I can build that filtration unit. Okay, now we're pretty down deep in the mountain biome. And if you want to know which biome you're in, press F1. You'll see some information top to right. It's just a debug panel, mountains. So, um, yeah, there's this wreck down here. And as you can see, my crush depth is 300. <laughs> and we're 280 something. So, yeah. The advantage of this biome, however, is that there is a little bit of magnetite around. So if I just park this and uh, we can get shale, which is good get gold among other things and um i didn't want i didn't want that here we are we've got a portable torch <laughs> we're gonna get lithium more shale which means diamond but as you can see my oxygen is rapidly depleting so i am going to need at some point a uh, much better oxygen supply but we need the modification station for that so we can take a quick trip down here we can swim underneath that crush depth. We just can't um, use our vessel. So if we're going to have a look in here, we need to be very, very brief. <laughs> uh, I have died once already. <laughs> not not here, but uh, earlier on while exploring. Just by running out of oxygen, you will just pop up back at your base again. So you don't need to worry too much. Uh, however, in my case, yeah, I think I need the high capacity O2 tank first which i think is in the modification station so i'm gonna have to keep looking for more blueprints for that uh, or more scannable objects um but plenty of stuff down here so yeah let me just keep on uh, exploring and some of the hazards around here is that we have these things called warpers which uh can indeed teleport you and um yeah we don't want to get too close to them to be honest however right there is something oh no how did you teleport me right out of my sea moth? That's that's no that's no fun. All right, it's back in. Uh, let's try and scan this before it gets to us again. Uh, yeah, let's get out and scan. Will you let me scan in time? You will. And we've got the Cy Cyclops engine blueprint. I think I've definitely. Oh, well, I've got the hull already. And that means I need the bridge. And I think I may have the bridge. I can never remember if I've got it all or not. So let's actually just check. Can we check? Oh, no, not while we've got... <laughs> not while we've got those things around. Let's go. Uh, let's head somewhere safer. Uh, is there anything I want there? Hmm. Nice floating island. No, let's head up to the surface, shall we? Where it's nice and, well, hopefully safer than down here. And here we are near the surface. We're not far from Cyclops, as you can see it's there, but there's an island in between us and it, because that mountain biome, it happens to have a mountain in it. Yep. So our escape pod's all the way over there on the right-hand side. The Cyclops is there ahead. We're on the port side of the Cyclops, in effect. And we've got 
a beach over here and you can see there's a structure on this island and it's one of many alien structures that you find around i saw one down underneath the water it didn't seem to have any entrances in it so I thought yeah why don't we go over here and see what we can find we can certainly uh repair the poor sea moth <laughs> it's been abused by all those warpers okay and do i have anything on me i do have some first aid and let me just use up some water didn't bring any food with me i did pick up some uranite uh that was uranith uranitite uh, that was down in the uh, mountain region as well but i have a lead suit on so i considered that that was going to be safe and if we just pop around here there are some caves i imagine yeah um we're looking for a few things oh no not again not you go away oh no fair stop stop there we go all right i guess we can use this as a portable torch no it's going to do us any benefit so yeah there are some caves in here may go for an explorer in the caves but I thought we'd take a look at that alien structure. There's one on this island. Yeah, let's pop around the beach. And yeah, I mean, look at that. That's I, I, I want that as my base. <laughs> that would be nice. All right. Uh, can we get in? That'd be useful. Oh, I'd like these for the base as well. It'd be quite nice. Ah, we've got a, another one of these. The purple tablets. Maybe they'll do something. Hmm, let's go and have a look. Okay, so I couldn't get onto that uh, sort of huge tower, so I thought I'd come over here into the cave system. We found this gigantic, well, door, I guess, uh, arch, uh, and we don't have any ion cubes. It's asking for an ion cube. Is the one in here? That would be useful. If not, then I'm going to have to hunt one down, I guess. Um, oh, that's not good to drop off there. Anything else around here? Nope. Okay, continuing to explore. Okay, so a little bit further up and around, and we find another one of these purple tablets. So hopefully they're keys of some kind. Uh, might be useful to keep on exploring. Uh, we do find all these wonderful alien cables around all over the place as well. Ah, and more spider crabs, of course. I also make that propulsion cannon or the uh, the stasis rifle at some point soon. What did I get? Diamond. Yeah, I'll take a diamond. And yet again, yep, we get more of these cables. Heading on up. And I think this is a loop. I think we've been here before. Yeah, that's down to the, the arch thing. So it will be up here if you wanted to get the other tablet. So just keep that one in mind. So scouting out by ocean, <laughs> I would think I was just missing the entrance. Maybe that's the actual entrance there. Uh, yeah, that looks more like it. Why don't we get out and see what we can find? Um, yeah. Ooh, that's broken. Um, but I guess we can scan it. Ah, already got that recipe. Force field control, insert tablet. Let's put the tablet in. No more force field. Good. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Okay. Alien structure. They're very much a favour of green, it looks like. Uh, so let's keep going through. Is that another data terminal of some kind? Let's have a look. Can we scan you? Data terminal. Download data. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Attempting translation. Uh, it wasn't possible to translate any useful information, but we've got some... Yeah. Needs further research. Can't scan it. Oh well, let's keep on exploring. And what else do we have in here? It is, uh, it's almost like you want this as a base rather than our uh, our sea base, but it's a bit too green. Ooh. All right, so we've got an ion cube. Cool. And we can use those, or at least to 
put into that archery fan, but I think they also make batteries. Really, really good batteries. Okay, so we've got another one of those. Ooh, another. Oh, I'll take all of these. Uh, we've got another one of those data team terminals. Let's uh, grab more information. Can we translate it now? Enforcement platform. Okay, so this is a weapon. It's going to give us some information about the place. Let's keep on exploring. Is there any more stuff for me to pick up? Uh, okay. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Ah, so it's a lift of some kind. Good. And out we pop. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's a giant moon pool. That's that's a big moon pool. <laughs> that would fit one of the uh, the cyclopses in it. That would be kind of good if we could use that for, well, for recharging it, I guess. Uh, we'll see. Uh, what else have we got down here? Is this the control room? Uh, looks like some more scannables. Ooh, it looks like a, a rifle. Scan the rifle. Can I take the rifle? Um, can I build a rifle? No. Oh, I want the alien rifle. Okay, let's keep going. So much loot in here. Ooh, another ion cube. We're going to be making batteries with those, I think. Uh, before I go upstairs here, is there anything going this way? Or is it just going back to the... Ooh, there's another arch. Okay, so is, maybe is this the arch that we would have gone... Is that like a teleport or something that we would have gone through from the cave? Possibility. Uh... Nothing to scan there, so I guess you can only open it from the other side. There's no terminal on this side. Hmm. Let's head upstairs and see if there's anything for us to loot there. Ideally, more of these, uh, what are they called? Ion cubes, the better. We want uh, lots and lots of high-end batteries. Uh, anything over here? Let's have a look. Ooh, another terminal with another tablet in it. Okay, filling my inventory with tablets and cubes, but uh, I'm sure they're useful for something. Alien device. Looks like I've been playing Destiny 2 too much, but that looks vaguely familiar. And it's called a Doomsday device. This contains enough potential energy to draw, destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Okay, let's not... To take that out of take that out of confinement. Um, oh no, and I'm low on low on water. Do I have any water on me? I probably don't. No, I'm gonna have to go back to uh, the home base. All right, see you once I get over there. All right, our haul for today. Let's have a look what we have got. So we've got lots of lead. Uh, at least not lots, but at least enough to make another one of those uh, foundations to increase the strength of the base. Got lots of lithium and diamond, silver, gold, titanium, as you expect. We've also got three ion cubes. Now, maybe you guys in the comments below will let me know if there's any worth anything worthwhile in those weapon platforms, the alien structures at this point in the game. It feels like they're supposed to be endgame, and we've not got to endgame yet, because we definitely don't have a Cyclops, and that has a wonderful moon pool that we should probably uh, <laughs> dock our Cyclops into. So, for now, I'm going to put these iron cubes in here. If there's any useful, apart from, I guess, converting them to batteries in the short term, then um, that will be, be useful, and let me know in the comments. I've got one piece of magnetite. Now, we did need that for something, didn't we? Yeah, here it was, over in the scanner room. We needed a scanner room HUD chip, which means we need a computer chip and some magnetite. Now, we have the magnetite now, at least one piece of it. More of it, I guess, we can find in that mountain region. So we do want a computer chip. What does that need for us to make? Uh, where are you? Computer chip, gold, copper wire, and table coral sample times two. So we need some copper ore. Do I have any copper? Two. Okay. Let's just... Oops, wrong thing. Let's go over there. Uh, where are we? A, mm, copper wire. Let's make one of those. 
And what is it? Table coral sample? I think I may have some of those in the food. Oh, it's coral tube sample. Uh, that's quite different. Anything in miscellaneous? Any of the miscellaneous? Table coral sample? No, we can get it from outside though. If we just pop outside with uh, this, and uh, we should have some around. Yeah, there's some, I think. Yep. Kind of convenient that we have a little reef there, but uh, this should do. Oh. <laughs> Let's go and make this computer chip. So, computer chip. Okay, and now this should relay the scanner results onto a hood, which is one of the good things. So, scanner room, hood chip. Alright, and scanner room, speed upgrade. Well, silver and gold, we may as well do that. And range upgrade, we need copper and more magnetite, so I don't have enough for that just yet, but... Let's put the speed upgrade in, and where's the other thing? Uh, hood chip? Or is it already, has it gone onto my, yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's on my, um, on my person. So now if I select what I want, um, well, magnetite would be good. It's taking power from our base, but because we've got three solar panels, it's not actually much of an issue. Um, they're recharging faster, at least during the daytime. Wow, this is with the speed upgrade? <laughs> not sure how long it's going to take to produce that. Or whether there's any in range, to be honest, because we are... Ooh, actually. Ooh. Um, <laughs> let's go and grab a little bit more water. Oops, no, that's the rename tool. Grab some water. And let me put the rest of this away, so we don't carry all this stuff with us. Uh, salt can go elsewhere. Titanium can all go in here. It's full. <laughs> okay, it can go in here. I'm going to need more lockers at this rate. Definitely going to need more lockers. Do I even have any left? I think the salt locker doesn't have everything full. I'll have to rearrange that later. And I'm going to put these alien tablets away. They, they look valuable. And e, let's just pick up a couple of marble melons. We can just numb down on those. How far is that magnetite from us, though? That's the thing. Um, is that going to point... <laughs> yeah. Is that going to point us over the edge of something? Or can we get to it, I wonder? Uh, it could well be in a cave system below us, and that's sort of not as accessible. Um, <laughs> can we get down through here, maybe? Looks like we can. And is this more of the... Um, oh, you know what these magnetites are going to be? They're going to be the, um, the resource points I can't get without something like the, um, the prawn suit, I think. Ooh, that one is. That's actually fine. Yep. <laughs> there we go. You can grab that one. Ah, and I guess these only show up the ones that we can pick up. I'm quite happy. And that scanner room is probably about to get a range upgrade. Because, um... Yeah. We're about to be able to get all of these. Uh, those are quite far away. But we only need a few magnetite. We don't need anything excessive. Uh, that is where the habitat is, so we could go that way, or we could try and go just go back the way we came, which comes out right near our base, so we may as well head this way. And, uh, yeah, we should get all the upgrades. Or at least, uh, I think they, they also need copper as well, or something like that. Uh, we should come out right near our base. We went in right near our base. We're, ah, there it is. Okay, let's go and get those fitted. Okay, so the range upgrade just needed um, copper ore, so I just popped out to see if I could find some sandstone, uh, some limestone chunks somewhere I can get the copper ore from. Found some. So let's head back over here and see if we can build it. Um, range upgrade. Okay. And you can go in there. Now I tried scanning for copper ore, but it just wasn't any good at it because I think... Oh, hang on. That's 
all the way over there. Well, that might be is the prawn suit stuff that we have to, to go and get that way, but that's fine. Uh, we can also scan for data boxes, and that is looking quite useful. It's because if we just go and grab our Seamoth, let's go and see if we can get to that data box. We do have a range upgrade, of course, and I think we can just make another range upgrade to actually, uh, yeah, to go and um, make it scan for everything, really. And let's see if we can get uh, within range to the edge of the map. That's, that'd be useful. Let's go and track down this data box. And here we are at a wreck, and it tells us exactly where that data box is. Getting to it is, of course, the hard part. <laughs> But uh, if we know how to get... Oh, is that a uh, door that we have to cut through? No, it's locked. Let's see if we can get in around the other side. Um, anything reasonably suspicious down there that we can crawl into? That looks like a, uh, a vent of some kind, maybe. Or maybe we have to go in at the top. Mm, okay, top. Top it is. Let's go down there and see if we can get to it. Probably will need my uh, cutter. Or not. <laughs> oh. <sighs> it's one I've already been to. It's a shame I can't destroy it then, because that would be really annoying that I, need, I can't get to this one. Okay. Let's go and look at the other one, see if I've already been to that one as well. Yeah, and unfortunately, this one looks like one I've already been to and explored as well. Um, although, I haven't been through this door. Let's cut through this door. What I'll probably find is there's another open door on the other side that I've gone in from the other side of this wreck. But if not, we'll get a reward. <laughs> not that I think we will, but yeah, we may as well give it a try. See if we can cut through this. Oh, no, actually, we haven't been here. What do we get? Lightweight high capacity tank. Battery charger fragment. That's just going to give us some titanium, of course, because we've already got a battery charger. Some water and a picture of a loved one. And laser cutter fragment gets more titanium, I guess. Don't think there's going to be much more in here. No, I'd like the power, power uh, cell charger as well, but it's not going to be in these wreckage pieces. Ooh, I do want you. That will get me the modification station. Yeah. All right, let's go and use that and see if we can build it. Uh, we may need some more materials, so we may have to do that next time. But we definitely... Uh, that, that scanning room is so useful. <laughs> that didn't used to exist, and it was so hard to find stuff. All right, back to the base. Okay, the modification station is relatively reasonable. It needs one of, the, one of those computer chips. Uh, titanium, diamond, and lead. Now, diamond and lead, I'm almost sure I picked up. Um, not in you. Let's just... Oh, there actually was the one diamond in there. Let's grab the diamond. And the lead is probably going to be in here. Yeah. So we just need a computer chip. And what was that again? We needed copper... Uh, table coral sample, gold, and copper wire. And copper wire needed... Two copper ore? Okay, looks like I'm heading out for some more copper. All short of copper, never, never anything else. Okay, got enough copper, got the computer chip going. All right, so now can we build a modification station? We can. I guess we can put it anywhere in here as well. Um, don't really have a space for it at the moment, so let's just put it, uh, I don't know, here. That seems reasonable. I will deconstruct it later, and what can we make? We can make survival knife upgrades. A thermal blade, it cooks things when you stab them. Okay, air tank upgrades, we got the lightweight high capacity one. And then we've got, uh, basically we can either go ultra high capacity or lighter so we can maneuver faster. But either way, we're gonna need lithium. That's okay, because I'm gonna have lithium and the high capacity tank, yes I do. Okay, let's just go and quickly grab the lithium. Uh, wherever I've put it, even there. I was getting entirely too much of it. So, good that we can use some of it up. There's plenty of it available in the game. Uh, so yeah, we just need to take that high-capacity tank out by unequipping it. 
ultra high capacity tank. Cool. And what does that fill up to? 135? 200? 225. So when we're much deeper, and of course the oxygen is being used up a lot faster, having that super high capacity tank is going to help us greatly. And oh, we just need silicone rubber, some lithium. Okay, I think we've got actually enough for all of these things. Uh, silicone rubber. Uh, lithium, we can get one. That's all we needed. Silicone rubber is probably over here somewhere. One, two. And our original fins. Uh, that's the gloves. Fins. Can we now upgrade you? We can. Ultra glide fins. Okay, so streamline construction enhances swim speed considerably compared to regular fins. Okay, so we can upgrade the propulsion cannon to a repulsion cannon. And the Cyclops upgrades for depth modules are in here as well. But uh, we don't have a Cyclops yet, so that's a bit of a downer. <laughs> let's, let's go and uh, pop outside. And let me just make this uh, titanium up first. And do I have any lead left? Because I can just finish off that, uh, that platform. I think I only need the one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're moving faster. Hmm. Yeah, seems okay. And we can just reconstruct the rest of this foundation to add two to base hull strength. So I can probably afford another room at some point now. Um, I may have to rearrange everything. I just I can probably build off this way and rearrange that uh, later. But I want to put down some more grow beds because there's going to be things we need to get growing as well. And they're still not growing the um, the seeds. I may have to wait till we put one of the large fish tank, the alien containment. Uh, facility, whatever it's called. It's just a large fish tank um, to get the actual seeds growing. But uh, yeah, I think we've got pretty good progress today. Oh, <laughs> uh, we obviously got we've got food, we've got modification station, we've got the scanner room up and running. And I'm best to change that over from data banks to something more useful. Uh, fragments, maybe that may just be a huge amount, though. Um, yeah, we could use it. So I could search out more magnetite and uh, limestone chunks. Um, is there anything else in here that we want? Stalker teeth, I think we're going to want. We're going to want the enamel glass. So yeah, if we find those, that's a much easier way of getting them. All right, hope you enjoyed this episode. We've got lots of stuff up and running. And I think the next one to head for in next episode is probably going to be the upgrades for the Seamoth, if I can get it, uh, if I can get it built. What do you need in here? Do I just not have the fragment yet? It's probable I don't have the fragment yet. Uh, interior modules. Um, no, I think it's just can't remember what it's actually called. It's not any of these anyway, so I think I'm missing the the the, the thing I need to build in here. So I'll go and figure that out. And it's pointing me to stalker teeth. Stalker teeth are useful to make enamel glass, and uh, that's a much stronger version of glass. So we will be using that as well. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, as usual, guys. And uh, feel free to share, subscribe, and thumbs up.